returning to Texas, y'all, for OniCon 2019. Howdy, partners. Don't click off this video. Please don't click off this video. Don't click off this video. Don't click off this video. Holly and I will be guests alongside Tyler Willis at this year's OniCon in Galveston, Texas. We are going to have a bunch of super fun panels. Tyler and I are going to do a roast and toast again. There will be an amazing high tea with the brand Meal Fleur, Meal Noir, and Miru Furu. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot pronounce French. I'd love to see everyone again from last year and relive all the fun that was OniCon last year. And all the comments on last year's video wishing that you'd known about it beforehand or that you wish you could have come. Now's your chance! Come on down to Galveston, Texas for OniCon 2019. Tickets will be available in the link below and I get to give away two tickets to OniCon for free this year. The information on how to enter that is in the description. If you want a sampling of last year's OniCon magic, please check out my OniCon 2018 video. And if you can't make it, I'll be making another video again this year, so stay tuned. In honor of OniCon and Texas in general, today I'm going to be doing a very special episode of Fixing Your Coordinates. I'm going to make your coordinates suitable for the Old West. thinking, Lore, what do you know about the Old West? You live in Canada, and you don't live in Calgary. Um, <laughs> but you might forget that I grew up and lived in California for 26 years. Hello, the home of the gold rush. And I went to ranch camp for many, many years of my life, and I worked in basically an escape room that was Old Western themed. You got to die 300 times a night. It's a lot of fun. So I know a thing or two about the old frontier. Just call me Delightful Dolores. Please don't click off this video. I asked for submissions on Facebook for a silly joke style video of fixing coordinates because I didn't want to take actual submissions from my fixing coordinate series and just put cowboy hats and cowboy boots on them and be like, here you go, when someone was actually looking for real advice. So I didn't explain what the video was going to be. Uh, most people thought that I was going to roast them, and a lot of people requested that I roast them, but that's not what this is. In this video, not only will I be fixing coordinates in an Old West style, but I will also be reimagining where these individuals in their coordinates would be in the Old West. And I'm going to be putting them into those scenes using really lazy, terrible Photoshop because why not? I'm not the greatest at Photoshop and I don't have a lot of time to put into this video, so we're just gonna roll with it. I know it would probably be better on Flash, but I don't currently have Flash installed on my computer and I don't feel like animating all of this in Premiere, so I'm just gonna give you a little Photoshop puppet show. You'll see what I mean. The stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. I feel like I killed that song with the last video and I need to find a new Texas song because I sang it way too much last year. All right, so let's start with Tokidoki Prince and Lita Lizzie. Now, these coordinates are both great. This, I believe, was at Paradiso. I did blur this photo a little bit because although the two of them did agree to be in the video, uh, I'm not sure about the people behind them, so I just photoshopped that a little bit, but I was really drawn to their poses. I saw them and instantly I knew what I had to do. I put them on horses. Yeehaw! I decided to separate them and put them on horses. Holly pointed out that the horses are way off scale and I don't care. I think they're cuter. They're like little Labrador sized horses. And uh, I added a cowboy hat to each of them because I liked the way their shoes were and I didn't think that they needed cowboy boots. Um, I have Tokidoki Prince's purse still hanging over the horse, you know, and, and taking a picture while riding Iris or Limb it Itless. Uh, I didn't really know where to put her and I didn't want to put a cowboy hat over top of her hair because it's really cute. So. Instead, I'm just gonna have her in each photo and each scene, and we'll just see how that plays out. I did add a tiny little cowboy hat 
to the top of her head as like a little mini accessory. We've got some white cowboy boots. Now let's visit our first scene. Oh! <laughs> okay, here, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, I am running Photoshop 2018. I prefer it over 2019. So, alright, we got the set of Westworld, which apparently burnt down. And we've got Lizzie moseying on into town, just uh, minding her own business when Tokidoki Prince <laughs> comes prancing in, taking photos, holding purses. Lizzie's like, get get out of my town! Stop taking pictures of everything! And Tokidoki Prince is like, no! <laughs> and the Oscar goes to... Lovely Lore for some YouTube video. They're yelling at, the, they're, they're fighting, and then, and then, uh, can we come to some kind of compromise? I think you two need to find a way to get along and share the town because there's clearly nobody here so you've got lots of room for one another. Why don't you have your horses kiss? I now pronounce your horses married. You know what? I'm gonna go run this hotel over here and I'm gonna be the town photographer. Yay! <laughs> What is this video? <laughs> Somewhere Tyler's just sharpening a knife, like. All right, so now we've got Daniel, or It's Creek Team. Thank you, Daniel, for sending a photo in the most busy background possible. Thank you. Thanks. Masking that was so much fun. I do want to put a cowboy hat on Daniel because his headpiece, his head, arrangement is so cute and this pose immediately I was like I gotta put him on a horse too but I can't just put him on a regular horse I gotta make a colorful horse he's gotta be in like a colorful ambiance you know so I put Daniel on a rainbow horse who I made rainbow and then uh, he, he's like the way he's crouching his legs are underneath his dress so I made him rainbow cowboy boots so that you know you have a little bit of Western in the coordinate and then uh, I didn't have any like leg to connect it and I didn't want to just like put the boot sticking out so I added some little ghost girl goods <laughs> leggings I think it's a nice touch great coordinate and now I don't know if Daniel would be mad um, at me saying this if I were to imagine creepy in the old west or in a western setting he would be a rodeo clown <laughs> insult right like he loves clowns he, he just came out with a song cl called clown he has a character that's a clown like he he does clown inspired looks like it's, I feel so bad saying calling Daniel a rodeo clown but um and I made his his rodeo all rainbowy colors too because I couldn't have like just a plain one and um, he's giant for some reason in this. But yeah, he's, you know, performing and he's got this huge audience. But yeah, here he is, uh, riding around, woo, <laughs> performing. And oh, 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 who, who is this? In the audience, Daniel's biggest fan, Iris. <laughs> and she's like, hey, Daniel, creepy, I'm your biggest fan. Can you do some tricks for me? Yeah, woo, I'm flying. <laughs> and then she's like, do a flip. <laughs> Wee! Now we have Carrie. Um, Carrie's so cute. I'm laughing because I'm thinking about what's coming for Carrie and it's not the film carry so that's good I saw this and I was like your coordinate is cute I'm, I'm mad at whoever cut off your feet tell them like yell at them for me tell them that I gotta include the feet in coordinate photos this pose though is so perfect and I was like I have to put you in a saloon <laughs> but first but first let's see what I did to fix her coordinate because that's um the point of this video right okay <laughs> Okay, okay. 
<laughs> okay, so so we added some cowboy boots, real classy. Then we added a cowboy hat, and I put the dress print on the cowboy hat. And now let's see Carrie in the saloon. <laughs> Carrie comes in, and aren't, isn't it just so annoying when the barkeep, Mana Sama, won't pay attention to you, won't get you a drink, he's just off staring in the distance. She's like, yo, Mana, I know I'm not wearing black and blue, but like, get me a drink. I don't even know if she drinks. Maybe she wants a ginger ale, who knows? <laughs> get me something to drink. What are you looking at? What's over there that's so great? What is, what's, what is over there? What is Mana looking at? It's none other than Iris. See, Mana has eyes for Iris. Even though she's not wearing black and blue, he'll make an exception. Damn it, Iris, why you gotta be so cool with your tiny, tiny cowboy hat? Um, what's a girl gotta do to get a drink around here? And that's when Quicks Quiotic? Quicks? Quick? That's when Q. Quiotic? Quicks? Quicksotic pops in and they're like, that's why I make my own moonshine. Cause I don't get any service around here. <laughs> Tyler's like, hi, hello, Onicon? Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> now we have Cone Pito Stars. And she said that I could do whatever just not to harm her son. I didn't want to do anything harmful to her beautiful son. And when I saw this photo, I immediately thought that in the Old West, con, 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 con pito stars would be the leader of a bandit gang of bears. <laughs> I didn't want her to have a cowboy hat because I wanted her to be established as the leader. So I gave her a top, a top hat. Then I gave her son um, a little cowboy hat. Cause you know, he's like second in command. <laughs> so uh, so here, here she is, leader of the, the bears, bear gang. And they've ransacked this town uh, they made Misako cry because they stole all of her brand. <laughs> Poor Misako, she's crying. Iris is up here and uh, she's having the age-old fight with this bear about whether Angelic Pretty or Baby Starshine Bright is better. Bear is really angry. Iris is really staying strong on her side that AP is better. I think that's an AP print. That's like ribbon something something AP, right? Yeah. Misako's like, no, they took my blouse! Now everyone's gonna read me to Phil because I'm a blouseless Lolita. All right, and then Callie submitted for this. She submitted a different look, but there's nothing that I could Photoshop better than her Yeehaw K. It's the greatest thing ever. It totally inspired me to do this in the first place, and I absolutely love her style that's Texas-inspired kawaii fashion. It's so super cute. And actually, Callie and her brand OtaQ, OtaQ, will also be a guest at Onicon! So come and see Kelly at Onicon as well. All right, and I think that about wraps it all up. Wait, what is this? Iris, what are you doing? Where are you, where are you going? What? Iris, no, don't, please, please don't do this. Iris. Well, well, well. <laughs> I heard someone was sinning against Lolita and Texas by making crude photoshops with cowboy hats and uh, cowboy boots. I hear I'm the sheriff in these Lolita and Texas parts. <laughs> okay, Tyler did not submit for this, but I took this photo, so I feel like, I feel like it's fine. I won't, 
all of this off the internet. <laughs> uh, Tyler doesn't even talk like that. I don't know why I'm giving her an accent. You better hand over your Brando or else. Tyler's gonna kill me. She's gonna straight up murder me. Tyler is particular about shoes and footwear and I don't think that she would appreciate cowboy boots. But what if they were flower egg garden cowboy boots? whatever this video was and um stay lovely find yourself somebody who looks at you the way Mona looks at Iris <laughs>